Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, it's getting that time of year, it's getting cold. Camping is about to take full swing for me. I'm a, definitely a winter camper. Uh, so, years past I've been using everything from a buddy heater to nothing. So I decided to finally upgrade. I've upgraded to the uh, Vivor, I believe is how you pronounce its name. Um, eight uh, kilowatt uh, diesel heater. I know nothing about it. Yeah. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about what we got here as far as I know so far. And then we'll get into trying to figure out how to set it up, give it a run, see how that goes. And then I've bought some metal that I'm gonna try and make a bracket for it to sit on the uh, tire uh, throughout the night so it's not on the ground, uh, anything like that. Um, but we'll play it by ear, we'll see how it goes. So let's have a look. No big surprise, this is the heater, it's all self-contained. Self uh, your fuel tank's in it, the heater, everything's already plumbed for the most part. It comes with a handy dandy digital display. Uh, it also came with a little remote that I have set down somewhere and have no clue where it is. I'll show it to you once I find it again. Uh, did I put it? I don't know. Anywho, you also get your uh, vent line. For me, it's going to be way too short. It's super stiff. It's nice as far as I'm concerned. And then it go on there. And then it comes with a little vent you stick in the end and you run it to wherever. You also have the option I believe they said someone lied to me no it don't fit in there so minimum if you just want to run it in like say your garage not in necessarily a rooftop tent or something like that because this thing it's going to heat my shop for me hopefully it's super overkill for my tent i only needed a two uh but the eight was honestly cheaper than the two so and it was self-contained so i was like that's a no-brainer my shop don't really have heat, so I freeze. So we're gonna try it out in there as well. But anywho, you can make a little short stubby piece to put on there just so it blows. You can kind of direct it, or you can just let it blow willy-nilly. Uh, you also get your fresh air intake line, and it comes with a plastic filter it's nothing to really write home about but it'll keep dirt and stuff from getting in there since this all uh, connects from the bottom and it's just going to kind of hang out uh, it's pretty stiff it'll probably yeah we'll see then you have your uh, exhaust hose that stuff's pretty stiff again this also hook on the bottom it comes with a muffler and a bracket and a couple uh, screws we are going to definitely have to read instructions on this one again I've never messed with one just decided I thought I needed one so here we go you get a bag of hardware a uh, bunch of self tappers and hose clamps to secure everything and looks like a couple, oh, I don't know, four or five foot hanks of uh, black and red wire because this does require a battery to run off of or a power source. Uh, I've got a massive lead acid, sealed lead acid battery over there that I'm going to use for now until me and Matt figure out how we're going to do solar and uh, lithium-ion batteries. 
So let's uh, take a look and read some directions and get to it. Okay guys, so let's get in here and see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna flip this over here on its side. Find us a couple hose clamps. Just go ahead and dump everything out. Sorry. Dump everything out right here. Make a mess, why not? Oh, look at that. Those are gonna be an eight millimeter. I'm pretty sure. Usually are. But, uh, so, from what I understand, we need to find a hose clamp, put it here. God, that's gonna be god awful to try and put a hose clamp on that right there uh all right we're gonna try it let's see through here it's gonna need to go uh something like this maybe get on there god dog all right, we got it up there. There is no good way to do this. They give you the absolute least amount of room. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just trying it out. We ain't setting nothing up permanent. So we're gonna just stick it on there and run what we've wrong, see what happens. So we're gonna stick this on the other end here. Yep, that looks good. Uh, this here's your uh, exhaust piece. We're gonna just say, you know what? Here you go. Boop. But we gotta get it to go on there. There it is. That's nice and stiff. Oh gosh. Well, that ain't gonna float anywhere, that's for sure. We'll get it bent up a little better when I get the whole system designed and figured out. Maybe this video may not. Uh, the end of that's all boogered up. That's for, oh. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. We're one of them big boys. We got a stack. I mean, it's a diesel, right? Might as well have a stack on it. All right, uh, let's make a little bit of room here if we can. This, yep, that looks good. That one we might actually slide the uh, hose clamp on. See how big of a pain that's going to be. Because nothing's wanting to work right. You know, That's how it goes though. First time it's always a pain. But this seems like it's going to be a pretty good little heater. I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, we're just... I mean... If it could run me out of the tent, that'd be awesome. Especially for the garage, when I'm using it in the garage, but if it just keeps my feet from freezing, because, well, they do from time to time, and allow me to be out in colder weather, here in Arkansas, in my opinion, it don't get all that cold, but, uh, It, at least not like it did when I was stationed in Colorado. But all right, there's that. Put that on there. Yep, I know what you're thinking. Keep it to yourself. Come on now, try and be PG. 
but I'm 12 years old too. All right, uh, make us a little room here. I'll go. We'll go grab this battery and throw it on there and see. Okay. So. For right now, I'm just gonna strip the end of these back and attach them to the back of it. I'll put regular connectors on it when I figure out how everything's gonna be set up for sure. And I can shorten these wires and whatnot. Open that up. That seems legitimate. And I can hear y'all hollering at me now. Hey, that ain't how you do that. I know. I know. Trust me, I know. But it's how we're doing it today. We ain't gonna fill it all the way full. We're just gonna put some in there. What, just enough so we can make sure it works and whatnot. Yeah, that looks good. If it ain't, we'll always thought it was. All right. And again, I know it's a gas can, not a diesel can, but I don't own a diesel can. And I ain't buying one. I'm cheap. So, we're going to use that one later on on my pant. So I know that it, that's only diesel. And it'll work until it don't. See, I do stupid stuff like this when Matt's not around to help me. And make sure I don't do stupid things he happens to be working this week so he's gone I want to go camping but it's chilly so I gotta figure this out on my own all right that seems to be okay ish let's walk around here to the front man that screen's hard to see or am I even seeing anything on? All right, guys. I don't know really what you can see yet, but uh, if you can hear it, it's uh, it's clicking away there. Let's see what we got going on over here. Saying we got 12. Man, this screen is hard to see. Looks like 13 volts. Quit clicking. Air blowing out's kind of cold right now. Uh, yeah, it, it's heating up, it's getting going. So we'll let it do that for a minute and I'll holler back at you. Uh, or yeah, it's heating up. Once it decides it's gonna kick on and run, oh, never mind. There it goes. There it goes. She's she's doing her thing. Oh well, yeah. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Okay guys, so got it figured out. I got an E10 error code. Turns out what it was is it flooded itself. It tried to prime, tried to prime to start, and evidently it somehow flooded itself. I don't know. I let it sit a few minutes, tried it again. It's up and running, it's been running three or four minutes maybe whoo that's hot no shit right um the heat coming out of the vent it ain't super warm yet but it's it's not half bad what do we got her on here six that's as high as she goes but the air flows significant i mean yeah let's see what else we got going on back here make sure we ain't trying to suck nothing in oh yeah wires are still cool all right all right she's a runner yeah so i think what i'm gonna do while this is warming up, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about what my plan is. So I'm gonna go get some dryer vent or some uh, some different hose that's much longer. I mean, if you can imagine my tent sits here, it's that tall before it gets uh, to the window or better. So this little piece hanging here off the wheel isn't gonna be enough. Also, I got my oldest boy, when he goes, he wants to have his own tent, so he sleeps in a ground tent. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get some like dryer vent tubing and put on here, something like that, and a Y. And make it to where it, you know, Y off, and I can heat his tent and my tent at the same time. Um, Matt has a heater. Maybe he don't have his set up in time before our first uh, winter camp. We can use it in his as well. Um, man, this little bugger, it puts out quite a bit of heat. I mean, that's hot. I think this is gonna work perfect. Again, this is the uh, Vivor, uh, I got the eight. Uh, kilowatt that looks nothing like what I got but whatever it's a Chinese diesel heater you know none of their pictures in here even look like what I got but that's all right we don't care um, make sure this remote works let's see yeah So I know it's real hard to see, but you can see we got 14 volts. Um, I gotta figure out how to turn up the brightness or something on this thing. It's hard to see, but that says heat level five. Give her a little clickety clue. You know, she goes all the way down by remote all the way up that's gonna be nice i ain't even gonna have to get out of the tent and turn it on and off with this yeah that's gonna be real nice all right let's 
go ahead and we know it runs so let's shut her down if it will maybe there it goes you gotta press and hold the off button all right you know that okay yeah says off right there all righty all right everyone well that's the vivor or however you pronounce its name uh eight kilowatt uh diesel heater um we got it up we got it running we got it producing heat that's awesome wasn't nearly as hard as i thought it was going to be um i won't lie i watched a lot of well, youtube videos about them before i bought mine some of them look like they could be a pain some didn't um so now i'm going to contemplate what else needs to be done in order to make this functional uh for me while i'm out i don't have a lot of room in the bed of my truck once i got everything in there um a rear seat delete may be an option here by the end of next year as of right now it's not so i'm gonna do some scheming and whatnot and we'll figure out a plan and make something happen i know i need to build a box of sorts of some sort for the uh, battery to ride in um it's probably going to be something down and dirty you know uh, no lid nothing like that if it's under my tent it won't be exposed to the elements too much um, and then I need to come up with a design for the uh, heater uh, for the bracket to sit over the tire and once I get that we'll figure it out we'll start making it happen so I'll talk to y'all after a while Hey y'all, it's been a couple days, uh, life happened, things came up, I had to take a little time away. Uh, I did finish up the uh, base for the heater, um, we still got to make the straps and whatnot that are going to go over the tire and hold it in place. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I did my best, I'm learning to weld. Uh, I'm happy with it. It was a great project to, uh, or this is a great project uh, for me to get a little more welding experience before I start doing stuff that's super structural or anything like that. Um, I like these little projects, they're confidence builders. My welds aren't pretty, but as they say, a grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. So I'll bring you in and show you what we got going on and we'll continue on so i don't know how well you can see that but these aren't the best welds like i said you know but it's not structural um so it's not holding more than like 20 pounds it's going to be all right now i'm pretty happy with how this turned out on the corners I will be drilling uh, two holes on each side just for added security to have the heater on here. I'll run a couple bolts with wing nuts through it just for peace of mind. <clears throat> We're going to come up off the back of here. We'll come up, uh, over, and then back down. And that will make uh, the hook we need for it to sit over the tire. Uh, keep the heater off the ground. Keep the fresh air vent or the uh, fresh air intake and the exhaust up all out of the dirt and whatnot. So it ain't going to be nothing fancy. It's just going to work. Okay, so I got some flat bar here. What's it say it is? It's one inch wide, eighth inch thick, 48 inches long. 
this is what's going to make our uh, hook, if you will, uh, for it to hang on the tire. Uh, I need to cut two 13 inch pieces and then we'll get a measurement for the width of the tire and then on the back and we'll get it all welded together. So let's go ahead and mark this out and get them cut and we'll go from there. guys so here's my plan I'm gonna just stick these back here and well give them a little weld and it'll be something like so and we'll keep moving on Alright, so the pieces that are going to run across the top of the tire need to be about 12 and we'll say uh, 5 sixteenths. Seems like a good even number. I want it to be snug, but not so snug I can't get across it, so we're going to try there. guys so this is basically what it's going to do right here so we'll get it in place give it a little tack and then we'll come in and weld it all Okay guys, so I went ahead and welded these off camera. I was 100% struggle bus trying to get it done, but they turned out. Um, there's that one. Here's that one. Uh, kind of get an idea where what we're going for here. <clears throat> I'm gonna run probably some six inch pieces down the back and then that'll hang over the tire so I'll go ahead and do that and get it all ground up and whatnot and I'll show you what it's gonna look like and we'll go from there all right so guys I messed up it, we are probably several weeks by now into the future <laughs> or later rather uh, I finished the mount I set down the welder I was about to turn the camera back on and my wife come down she's like hey let's go get something for dinner my wife okay cool so we took off we went and ate whatever I totally forgot to shoot the end of this video so we go to edit the video get it up you know on the tubes and Matt is like hey man you forgot to finish the video so here we are um, I finished it 
and it sat around for a little while and whatnot and I got to look at it with some fresh eyes. It looked like a seven year old who just learned how to weld uh, got a hold of it. I ended up tearing it back apart and doing things the right way. So let me show you what I got and I'll explain a little more. All right. So here it is. Uh, it's nothing fancy by any means. It does hold it. Um, there's a few, well, I say a few. There's a modification I want to make. I want to put some sort of standoff on here. Um, over the weekend, I actually used it and it hangs a little lower than I wanted. And instead of redoing the whole thing, I'm going to just put some standoffs on it. But it does work in the form it's in and it's great. Uh, the reason I had to re-weld it is because these things were cocked in. Instead of making uh, this whole piece here and then welding it on, I do more wood, like construction stuff. And I started with the long piece, as you guys seen, and tried welding it together that way. It was wrong. I'm learning we're all learning so no big deal I got it fixed it works good still needs to be sanded and painted but it again it works I'll get to it when I get to it all right so guys like I said you know I made a mistake um, it happens but you know, what are you going to do? Learn from it, move on. Um, I think that will be about it for this video. So, thanks for watching. Uh, come back and see us next Friday.